have a Chamberlain Liftmaster model 3255. Okay. Now watch this. It goes down and it opens just fine. Right? Now let me step outside. We're only about 10 feet from the garage door. Watch this. Will not work. Standing out by the driveway of this house. Remote up. Door will not close. Okay. Right. I'm gonna come up a little closer. Door still will not close within several feet. Okay. Come up a little closer. Door closes. Yeah, inside, it works good. Yeah, let me slide by you, sir. Okay. I'm gonna run this extension cord All right. I'm gonna just unplug this real quick. The refrigerator, right here. Oh, you have a uh, you have a, a, a digital player up here. Uh, the radio. Let me let me unplug the radio. That's all right. Let me unplug the radio and see what happens. That might be the culprit too, right? Let's try it. Come outside. Same location. Nope. Still not working. Oh. Oh. Let me try. Let me try taking the refrigerator plug out. Right there. Okay. Let's try that. All right. So the refrigerator, could it be causing a signal interference? Possibly. And there it is. Look at that. Watch this, guys. Remember? Look. Look at that. Stop it. Come down. Okay, so the, the refrigerator that they just installed a couple weeks ago, Samsung, is creating uh, the interference with the motor and the remote. I changed the logic board. Uh, that didn't fix it. And then once I realized there were no LED bulbs in the motor, there were no LED bulbs in the ceiling, there was nothing else around there, I asked them had they installed anything recently in the garage and obviously the big new refrigerator standing there they said yes they put the new refrigerator up and i'm plugging it you can see what happens it's working now but watch what happens once i plug it right back in watch this keeping this video on so you guys can see i didn't edit it plug it back in Right there. Same thing. Nothing. 